But let's switch gears to the NBA, Rob. Uh, There was an interesting poll in The Athletic today. They polled, I believe it was, uh, Rob G, correct me if I'm wrong, 125 current players, 127 current NBA players on a number of things. Who's the GOAT? Who is the most overrated player in the league? And several other things. And I saw that they took my league because they had who was the Masot, and uh, that was interesting to see who. (laughs) Uh, Moving on. (laughs) (laughs) Let's deal with who they said was the GOAT. Now, these are, remember, current Rob players, Parker. okay? And it's a little, I'm a, this is a little bit strange. I'm going to look at the, just tied for fifth, okay, was Magic Johnson, Allen Iverson, and Kevin Durant. They all got 1%. So, there's some players in today's NBA that think Allen Iverson is the greatest player We're talking about of all time. Practice. Yeah, but you I know love how, AI, but come on. But you know how this is. Chris, some people don't take the voting really seriously or whatever. Cause we I've seen these polls. It's even like like on the on the baseball hall of fame ballot where I see them voting for like guys, giving them like two or three votes, and I'm like, dude, how how in the world did you even cast one vote right, for this? Right. Not a stop it. Go ahead, Chris, give me one. Stop! Yes. <laughs> and the same thing for AI. All Not right. one of the, now, I, I, I don't love know. AI, but no. Stop it. Yes. Number four was Kareem. Kareem only got 1.7% of the vote. Well, most of the kids who are they voting in the know. league, they don't right. know. They don't know. They, they don't didn't know. see Kareem. And they, they don't know. They, you know what? They probably uh, voted for Lou Alcinda, and they just realized <laughs> that it was a different guy. The same guy, I mean. You know? <laughs> all right. All right. You worked hard for that I one. did. Kawhi, I was trying to get there. Really give Kawhi gave you a little something. Thank you. Number three, Kobe Bryant, 10.6% of the we vote. keep moving up, huh? Number two, LeBron James, eleven point nine percent, and Michael Jordan. I give the players props for this. Michael Jordan got seventy three percent of the vote, so at least they know that. Okay, but the it, the thing I want to focus on, Rob, LeBron James, second greatest player of all time according to the players, eleven point nine percent of the vote. Kobe Bryant, third, ten point six percent. If you had done that same poll a year ago, it would have been different. Right? It would have been a bigger gap between I, LeBron and Kobe. Am I, Kobe's right? legacy has been enhanced by having LeBron in Los Angeles and being a failure this year. There's no doubt about it. Whether no, or not, right. and I'm talking about, we got the numbers, but we're talking about what happened, what went down. It's a failure. It's a failure. Everybody knows it. Nobody expected them not to make the playoffs with LeBron James. Right. So I think that's where the brunt of it has happened. And then we saw the body language, LeBron not playing defense sometimes, stuff like that. It did. And I think people look at it and go, Kobe's, Kobe's, a, excuse me, Kobe's a dog. You know what I mean? I, I like that. Ball players like that. Right. And I think there's some people who don't think LeBron has that. He's great. Right. He could do everything. He's a great basketball player. Hello? Did you hear me say that? He's a great basketball player. But I've keep, always. Keep going. But he ain't the greatest. <laughs> no, he ain't going that far. But you know what I'm saying. No, I know. I, and that's why I think they look at Kobe now, and Kobe's uh, legacy keeps going up. Well, that's the the interesting thing is how Kobe gained on LeBron this year without playing. He doesn't have lick. to play, right? And and if LeBron has another season like this next year. Where they fail to make the playoffs. Oh, they may fail to make the playoffs. Again. Or even if they squeak in or go in as a seventh or eighth seed and get bounced easily, Kobe might, next poll like this, Kobe might pass him. Like, that's what, and I know LeBron, and he said it a few months ago my legacy is set. Oh, oh, oh. Anything Are we else sure? I do from here is icing on the cake. Remember he said that? And then he got Could pushed you- back, and a couple days later, he. He changed his tune. LeBron James did not. He thought. Now, I know he wanted to win. And I know he had other interests, too. You know, family, uh, Hollywood, all that. And that's fine. But he also felt, I believe, he was Teflon. Like, I'm set. At the very least, I'm number two. You know, some people think I'm better than Jordan. The millennials tend to think I'm better than Jordan and all that. He found out in a hurry, uh, No. Like his legacy, when, he's when you, gonna be all time. But when top you talk five about millennials, these are players are millennials, right? 
These right. aren't these aren't all vets. I, I'm just saying now, like they they grew up and they saw LeBron. You know what I mean? And now there look there's a pushback. Well, I, Rob, where this could this could is where it really could affect LeBron's legacy. And I've said it. I don't know if you agree, but I have said on the herd and on Undisputed and and various shows, I've said, look, right now Michael Jordan is the undisputed GOAT. But if you talk to people of previous generations, they don't say that about Jordan. Yeah, but they don't count. They don't disrespect him. No, but I'm saying like older people, they'll say Kareem. They might say Oscar Robertson. They might say Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell. Or they might just say there is none, but they don't say it's Jordan. It's our generation that's saying it's Jordan. Yeah, but now and he's viewed as the GOAT because we control the narrative. But in 15 years, the millennials will control the narrative. I, but I, I don't. And I have said that in 15 years, they will say LeBron James is the GOAT I, and he will be regarded as that. I, don't, I disagree with that. I, I, you don't it, think millennials will be saying that? No, because they'll ultimately, well, ultimately if, when it's all over. And they look at everything, and they start to look at everything and go, "Wait a minute! All right, yeah, he had these stats or whatever, but uh, they Mike, don't, why aren't they saying that now? Because they right now they need him. They want him to be that guy because this is who they're watching. What I'm saying, after it's all said and done, I don't believe that they're going to look at what LeBron did, especially with his four years in LA with no championship. Well, that's, that's what that I'm trying was to tell my you. Point. Okay. I'm saying before this, before he comes to LA. And fails his first season, millennials were staunchly in his corner as the goat. Yeah, a lot but not of them. a lot. But a lot a of a, a, lot, a, a lot now don't. But that's as, my point. Right. That's what he has to lose. Is that if he if these four years are just one struggle after right. another, team wise in terms of wins, nobody that, comes. Those millennials you know what I mean? May right. not think he's the greatest, and then. That's where his legacy could really take I, a hit. I agree. I think they that, might put Kobe ahead of him. I think that he is teetering with if he has four, you know, just so so or bad years in LA and nothing comes of it, he could wind up taking a step back. That it actually coming to LA hurt him. And he never would have believed that. But after one year, now that all can change, Chris. They right. get somebody, they make a run next year, and people look or at it. Just have a great hey, look. Even if they don't but he's get getting anybody, older. have a great year, but he's getting lead older. them to the second round or whatever. But I'm just saying, if he if he goes through these four years and nothing materializes, people will go, what? I, I, LeBron? Well, what they're going to say is, that was the East. Right. And Kobe played his entire career in the West. I uh, mean, heck, a lot of years Kobe had to beat Golden or, uh, Sac, or San Antonio right. just to get to the finals. No, no, no. It's definitely. And... LeBron benefited from the East for a long no time, question. no matter what people can say, make all excuses. He did. He benefited. It was a weak East, and he dominated like he should have. Somebody so asked nothing. me how many times LeBron would have gotten to the finals if he were in the West. And I said, well, three. I would get, that's not a bad number. Well, no, I, to me, it's a fact. He what, won what, his so, team, beat the West, best team in the West three times. And so, if he had been, if that his teams had been in the West, they would have beaten, you know, they would have beaten that team, those teams, three times. They would have lost. I'm, look, I mean, just no, looking at fair. the facts, they would have lost to Dallas. Uh-huh. They would have lost to San Antonio 07, Dallas in 11. Uh, Come on, San Chris. Antonio in we 14, don't have all day you know? to like list LeBron's yeah. losses in the NBA finals. Yeah, I mean, we'll, be, we'll be here all day. All right, you like not that? You've been waiting all three, day for that one. Four, I set you up. Five, I put nice. it on the tee for you. You did, and you and you hit. Don't a, forget uh, the tech, Masters is starting you, right, isn't put, it? This weekend, I put it on the tee for you, and you hit a Texas league. How many black guys know that the Masters starts this weekend? Oh, a lot of us. Know okay, that. we you know Tiger Woods now. I said black guy. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I look, it's interesting. And I think LeBron recognizes it too. Like, I think he's, you know, he's like ready to get back into the lab. Because he got, what's it called? Pushback. He got, yeah, he got yeah. pushback like never before. I think Chris. he's going to come out this season and have an even better year, even though he's a year older. I think he's gonna have a better year next year than he had this I'm year. I'm not convinced of that. I, I 
I saw some old man in him, and I know he put up numbers. But, he put up uh, really good numbers. He did, but I still only I, like four other players in NBA history have put up. That's those nice. Numbers. And, don't and, act like they don't matter. And let me ask you: Are those, are, are you those other three AR guys did they make either. the playoffs that year? Some all years, guys, no. All three. Kareem are you sure? won the MVP award without no, I'm, making. I'm the playoffs. asking Do you. you. Rip him like you rip LeBron? Of course. No, you don't. If I was writing back in the '60s and '70s, '76, I, I would have ripped him back then. If I had a column for the LA Times, well, I know you was in Milwaukee. Because if you're writing, you're ripping. If I'm writing, I'm ripping. No, he was in Milwaukee when he won the MVP and All didn't right, make so the there you playoffs. Go. But, yeah, it happens. All right, LeBron will be back. Trust a brother. Is Kobe's stature rising as LeBron struggles in Lakerland? Oh, 877 yeah. on Fox. 877 Let's start with GW in Cincinnati. GW, you're on with Chris and Rob. What's happening? What's going on, fellas? What's going on? You know, Chris, Rob has his fans, and rightly so. I love you guys, love the show, of course. But, Chris, I'm on your side on things, so I'm a big Chris Broussard fan. Well, thank you. And I'll say this. Wow. There are a couple of things that will never, Kobe will never be able to get over, just in my opinion. uh, And there are character issues. That's Colorado and what he said to Shaq. Great player, but he'll never get off of that, just like Kevin the Direct will never get away from going to Golden State. I uh, I think they're different in I, that. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're nobody's, different. No, I mean, obviously. How you about know, him you quitting against the Suns? Right, right. That, that's worse to me. N- nobody's bringing up those issues with Kobe. Like, the Durant right. thing is a c- on the court issue. You know what I mean? Right. And you're right. right. That's going to. Be with him. But don't you, don't you think Kobe, Kobe, quitting? I do think there's some selective memory with right. Kobe. People act like that well, didn't everybody, happen. Right. Everybody talks about the killer instinct, but he, he quit, quit right. against in the fourth quarter in a game seven against Phoenix. He and, did. And Rob, he demanded a trade. Yes. Like and y'all was forgot about the two air balls, balls against uh, you against well, he Utah. Was young. That was he his was that young. was his rookie yeah. year. Hey, I remember hey, that. Hey, but let me but let me say this. But let me say this, Chris and Rob. And and again, Chris, this is where I think you'll agree because you'll look on the sensitive side of things. Uh, the, the sensible side of things. You talk about that, that poll. You talk about <laughs> well the sensible side of things. When because Chris talked Everybody about the poll. You both knows about, what it means, G. Everybody knows. right. Well, you talked about the poll. You talked about the millennials and how you know he's down this year. Let me ask you this, Chris. Had the Los Angeles Lakers without LeBron being hurt, without uh, Lonzo having the you know year two Steph Curry ankles, they're in what fourth place? Let's say they're probably in what second place in the Western well, Conference. Look, you I, know the way things are going, what, he would be in the same place as probably last year. What I'll say is they would have made the playoffs. That didn't not, happen. Yeah, though. I'm not gonna say. I don't know if they would have been the fourth seed or not. Look, the West was jam packed just like it is now. Right. So they could have very well been the seventh seed. But they maybe they would have been third or fourth or something. Who knows? Fourth. But I would I do, say fourth. I, what, all I'll team. say is they would have made the playoffs if he had been healthy. All right, let's start with Ennis in, or let's go to Ennis in New York. Ennis, you're on with Chris and Rob. What's up? Hey, hey guys. Good evening. How you doing tonight? Great, doing man. Great. Love the show. Thank, Thank you, bud. Um, uh, so, yeah, I, I, a lot of people, and, you know, I'm a Lakers fan, but I've been on the show before, and Jordan's the, the greatest, and I'm a millennial, so – uh, but I do have friends that think LeBron is better than than Jordan and Kobe. But and LeBron is better than Kobe. But people forget about the Kobe in '04 against Detroit. He had that great game too. That fourth yeah, quarter in game two. Right. right, the and one game that they won in that five game sweep. Didn't he hit a yeah. big shot at the end? No, it was a three point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a big right. shot. But that was the only good game he played in that series. And then Tayshawn uh, played well against him. You're right. And he that's didn't the play thing. that LeBron well. LeBron used to abuse Tayshawn. And Kobe, yeah. he he bottled up Kobe, right? And then in '07 against Phoenix, and then in '20, and then in 2008 against uh, Boston, they were up 20 in right. the second half. Right, they were up two one. I mean, LeBron's had his finals, you know, he's meltdowns. You're right, but, you're right. Um, There's a lot of you, what you're saying is is absolutely right. Kobe does think, get a lot of the benefit of the he doubt. Gets a, a he gets a pass. I don't understand when it. They like, beat, when they beat, they won their last championship against Boston in 2010. He shot 6 for 23. 6 for 24 in game 24 7. in game 7. I actually thought Pau Gasol would have been justified being the MVP of that Or series. at least split it because yep. Kobe had played well to that point. Pau Gasol, Chris, in that game, I think he had 18 points and 19 rebounds. Yep, he was, he was big in that and game. And obviously Artest hit a big shot. So and it's thanks for the call, Ennis. buddy. Appreciate it. What about uh, Diego in San Diego? How about that? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey, how's it going? What's so, happening? 
I just wanted, I think, uh, so a lot of people speculated over the years that LeBron James pretty much had a cakewalk to the finals. Yes. And I think we just kind of got, we got some validity to that argument when he came to the Lakers. Uh, with that being said, a lot, so Chris just already made a pretty interesting point saying that he would have probably made three finals because well, of just, how many just times saying, he won. Yeah, just saying, I mean. But yeah. the West was a gauntlet. Like, sometimes the best team, not, I, I shouldn't say that, but sometimes it could have been a, a multiple teams that could have came out to the, uh, the West to be in the finals. No and question. And LeBron had to, to go through that gauntlet. He never had that kind of challenge. He was resting up all the way into the finals. No, so that, there were a lot of fair. years that's where fair. the two – Maybe even three best teams in the we're, league were in, in the West, West right? So, but, I, but I, your I just point on out three, just no, because, because he won those three. Right. I, I get it, and he went eight times, right. so that would make sense to me. I think that's fair to say that he would have gone eight times and win the one one championship. Right? I think that's. Oh false. no, no, he would have won. I'm, I'm not going to buy that. One is three. Yeah. yeah, he probably would have. Let's go to Chris in Seattle. You on with Chris and Rob? Hey, how's it going? Good, Great. Chris. How are you? Great. Um. You know, uh, Kobe's last four years, they weren't making the playoffs. LeBron hasn't even come close to that yet. He's had uh, an, an injured year. Kobe dealt with injuries. This is the first time in LeBron's career he's been injured, and they almost made the playoffs. And if you remember, too, Chris, nobody wanted to play with Kobe at the end. Oh, no. He was poison. E- yeah, even, I mean, well before his game completely fell off. Right. They just yeah. didn't want to. And, and remember this always. And you can say whatever you want about Dwight Howard. He's the first player I ever saw give up $30 million not to play with another player. He walked away from 30 mi- I bet you could use that now. <laughs> huh? How did you yes. do that? No, nah, but that's that's real. But this is where – this kind of illustrates the point we're talking about, Rob, how Kobe – nobody's talking about pointing these things out. No. Nope. Kobe's stature is just rising and rising and rising. Does he have a smile on his face? Kobe, of course. Yeah. He's saying all the right things. Oh, he is. You know, and think they, about this, the Dwight Howard thing. He could have easily left that money to uh, his kids and given each of them a, thou- uh, a million dollars, you know? The $30 million? Kawhi, no, no Kawhi. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Kawhi liked it. All right. Right? All right. Don't he have 30 kids? No. Let's go to <laughs> Eric in Washington. Eric, you're on with Chris and Rob. Hey, guys. Hi. Um, I just want to know, how come um, – Tim Duncan gets no love if Kobe gets any love for having the same amount of championships. You know what? Here's a better one for you. Can we, Eric? I, I'm with you on this. He's one Ray Allen shot away from being six and zero like Michael Jordan. It's because they never repeated. Never won back to back. Right? They never right. They never won back to back. But I agree. He's off the radar, and he was one miracle. You said Ray Allen shot one of the greatest shots in NBA history. You take that away, he would have been 6-0 and just like Michael Jordan, and we never mentioned it. Well, I think there are a few other things, and, and Tim Duncan is fabulous. The best power forward of all time. And the best power forward to ever center. play in sandals, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and um, But he uh, he never, you know, well, I'm laughing. he only dominate like the last, what, two years? He wasn't the dominant force on the team, Connor's laughing. Their last two championships in 2014. Right. It was, was more about it was more about Tony Parker. Kawhi and, was the MVP, right, right. and no, Tony get Parker was kind of the leading scorer, I believe. But I'm just saying he's and, that and, close. And then his first one, David Robinson, was still he was great. a rookie, right? It was yeah. when it, when it, they were it was not, I think it was Duncan's second, second year. year Ninety nine, they beat the Knicks, and that was a short season, the yep, fifty game season. season. So Dunk, you know, Jordan. I mean, just. Absolutely owned every finals he appeared no, I, in. I get Duncan it. was different, and uh, but look, I th- best power forward of all time, but not the goat. But he's in the top ten and all that. All right.